I'm here with Jason Carmen, who is a writer and director from Vancouver. He'll be leading the workshop at the Port Moody Library, and it's called Making a Good Story with Film. And uh, we're very lucky to have Jason. Uh, he's just completing his first feature, and it should be available later this year. Very exciting. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I've been a filmmaker for the past 17 years, uh, and um, uh, I had the privilege of making my first feature uh, during the pandemic. Um, and we had an opportunity to um, work with uh, Telefilm Canada and uh, BC Arts Council and Canada Council for the Arts in order to tell um, a coming of age story. So um, my first feature is called Golden Delicious. It's a social network teen drama about an Asian Canadian in Vancouver caught between his father's dreams, his girlfriend's expectations, and then his newly awakened feelings for the boy next door. Oh, well, that sounds really awesome. So it's a sort of a bit of a love triangle, coming of age sort of story? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a love triangle between um, a, a girlfriend and a newly awakened um, boy next door. But also it's happening um, in the context of, uh, of social media and the pressures that um, that, that uh, puts on us. So it can be a very complicated time to figure out your identity um, when, you know, when you're trying to just make sense of everything. Okay, well, you said that you've been in film for 17 years. So how did you get started? I was a geologist back in Calgary, and I love um, stories of the earth, but then, you know, rocks don't talk back to you, and I really crave that kind of interaction. Uh, so stories of, uh, of the human condition resonated with me, and um, I transitioned into cinematography back in 2001, and then um, went into documentary filmmaking um, and uh, dance films and then dramas um, afterwards. Okay, so if you wanted to encourage young people to get started in film, what advice would you offer? I would recommend young people to look at what sort of imagery and sequences resonate with them and use that as a starting point to dissect um, how stories are told, uh, and in, in doing so, I hope that they will discover something a bit about themselves and in the world around them. So would you say that learning to look at those images that were important to you when you were younger sort of helped develop you as a filmmaker? Do you think, do you think that's important? Yeah, I, I, I was inspired by a lot of the stuff that, I've, um, that I was exposed to, Star Wars, um, rom-coms, and I, you know, I wish that my life could be like what I see on screen, you know, but as I ventured down this journey, I realized that uh, um, I started to notice that some stories and some um, people, uh, you know, were not shown on screen as much. And so I wondered why, and, uh, you know, by me, trying to understand the why and why not, um, I, I, I became inspired to tell, um, you know, more stories of the people that were neglected or, um, or marginalized. So that, you know, that's, that's how I've come into, into this industry is wanting to see more, more stories of us that, um, that were not shown on screen. Um, yeah, I, 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 I wanted to, put us up there. Um, I wanted to tell positive stories of us. I think we deserve those kinds of stories instead of, you know, seeing, um, seeing us depicted in a certain way on the news uh, or through Hollywood. So by, by choosing images that resonated with you, you learned how to communicate and tell powerful stories about people who aren't really seen that often to others, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. So we have this workshop planned <laughs> and without giving away too much, can you tell us some of the little fun tidbits that people might find at this workshop coming up in July? Yeah, so in July, we're going to have a workshop series comprised of three workshops. 
And uh, I can tell you that uh, uh, one of them will involve actual filmmaking where we are going to, uh, uh, we're going to film a story and, and then present it. Uh, the, the other workshops are going to talk about theory and then also um, editing as well, which is an integral part of the filmmaking craft because um, a story is made uh, in three stages. It's written and then, um, and then when you shoot it, it's, uh, it's told a certain way. And then when you edit it, it's told a, a, another way. So it's, it's important to kind of think ahead and plan for these things so that you are set up best for success as you go through these stages. Oh, well, this sounds amazing. And I get to be there, so I feel very, very lucky. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. And I, I can't wait to be a part of this workshop in July. And just to let everyone know, registration is now open at the Port Moody Library website. Okay, thank you very much, Jason. And uh, we'll see you soon.